Hello everyone, it's time for us to do an upgrade on RAM. So in this video we're going to install Sodim memory and Sodim RAM is the RAM that we're going to use inside of our laptop. For us to get started, first we want to disconnect our battery. So I'm going to release the battery by using my corresponding buttons on the back of the laptop and I can pull that battery out. After removing the battery, it's time that we make sure there's no electricity left inside of our components on our laptop. So I can open the laptop and we can press and hold that power button just to discharge any remaining electricity. Now that all the power has been discharged in the laptop, we can close it up and we want to access the RAM access panel. Here in the middle of our laptop, I can see that there's a symbol for RAM and this is where we're going to open this up and change out the RAM inside of our laptop. So we have our zoomed in view and we can see our symbol here that this is where our RAM memory is for this panel. You can see we have some ventilation here to help heat dissipate. Also, there's another screw here that this has a keyboard logo on it. We just need to remove this screw here in order to access our RAM inside of our laptop. So I can go ahead and I'll unscrew it. With the screw out, we just need to pop that panel up and then we can access our RAM. Now the question is going to come into play is, what type of RAM should we be using? Well, that's going to be based off of our documentation. Inside of here, we can take a look and see what type of RAM this is currently. Also, we can take a look at the documentation for the model and manufacturer of our laptop to see which RAM would be recommended to replace it with. Now to replace this stick of RAM that we see here, we have to take some steps. We've already got the power adapter unplugged from the laptop. We've already removed the battery from the laptop. Now that we have the RAM displayed, I can take these metal clips and I can pull them outward. When I do that, the RAM is going to shift and it pops up at about a 45 degree angle. It's going to be loose, so now I can just take it from the ends and pull it straight out. I can put this on my anti-static mat that we're working on here at this time. So now I would get my new RAM that I'm going to replace the old RAM with. And again, this is going to be laptop memory. This is so dim. In comparison, here is desktop memory that I currently have. And you can take a look at the desktop memory size versus the laptop. There's a very big difference there. So you want to make sure that you're shopping for the right type of RAM. After you've purchased the correct type of RAM with maybe more memory or faster speeds, we want to install it. So you take the RAM that we purchase and it's keyed. You can see the keyed slot there. It's only going to go in one way. I will put it in at an angle. Again, it doesn't have to be precise, but you'll slide it at that angle about 45 degrees. You can watch those gold pins go in and I can just push it straight down and those metal clips on the sides will lock into place. And there they are, they're locked in. Now, what you saw was only one RAM chip. Commonly, laptops have two. So where's the second one? Well, depending on the laptop and the manufacturer, that second RAM slot is probably under the keyboard which means we would have to remove the corresponding screws to gain access under the keyboard and touchpad, and there we would find the second RAM slot. So we can go about doing that in another video when we access underneath the keyboard and touchpad. To close it up, we'll literally take that access panel and slide it back into place. It's in, and then we would screw it back closed. Again, we've